Hi, this is Rebecca again. Um, this is the third vlog in the series about Bondi Beach. Um, she's a four-year-old, entered in this year's fraternity. Um, she's been coming along really nicely, as you can see here, kind of just having a nice, easy cross-country school. She's really game to everything and has been a horse that has yet to say no. Um, she's pretty quick on her feet. She's starting to figure out the footwork, and now we're pretty much just waiting for her body to catch up with her brain um, and just for her to get stronger so we can ask a little bit more of her. But she's consistently schooling some training level questions, jumping around the novice stuff, um, and has just really been a fun, fun horse to produce. Since our last vlog, she's competed down at the Carolina Horse Park at Five Points. Um, I went solo there. I just had her and another horse running, so wasn't able to get much video of her, but lucked out that one of my friends was able to help us a little bit in the warm up there and get some video of her in the show jumping. Um, you can see we're still a little bit more comfortable in the ad stride being 15 hands and just a little weak four year old. Um, I've got to work on kind of riding her a bit more forward and positively. Um, but once again, she handled the atmosphere great. Her brain's pretty much unmatched in my opinion. Um, and she put in a solid three phases to finish a second in the open novice there. After five points, we gave her a little break just to be a horse. Um, and then I decided to take her up to Lock Moy to do another young event horse qualifier. She had already qualified at Virginia earlier this season, but at that time I felt like she was a completely different horse um, and was incredibly green. The judges saw something special in her, but I did just want to kind of check back in um, now that she it was a lot more developed and now that the fences were closer to height. Um, she was absolutely incredible at Lock Moy. I think I definitely made the right decision taking her there and doing one more qualifier with her. She was second out of 11 on the flat um, with some really good comments, much improved from the time before, and then jumped easily around with um, what was tied for the highest general impression score of the day. So the judges really seemed to like her. They loved the fact that she jumped great out of all distances. Um, and overall, it was a great positive experience. So fingers crossed as we bubble wrap and get ready for the championships at Fair Hill in a few weeks.